Hello everyone, I'm Cerebral and this is Cerebral Talks TV. Thank you for joining me. If you are new, please hit the bell for all notifications so you know when I'm live and when I'm uploading and please check out my shorts. I wanted to share this story with you that I saw just the other day that I just thought was terrible. I have my notes right here, okay? Um, Angela Chow, I hope I'm saying her name right. Angela Chow recently passed away. She drowned in her car. She drowned in her car. She's the sister-in-law of Mitch McConnell, Senator Mitch McConnell. Her sister Elaine is married to him and she was 50 years old. Okay. She comes from a successful family. She was the CEO of a shipping company. Her family has a very successful shipping company. You know, their net worth is like 14 billion and it's a family business called Foremost, the Foremost. Okay. So that's just a little bit of what I know about her. Basically, her and her friends were, they had a get together, a little party, and there was some drinking. And after the party, she accidentally reversed her car. She accidentally put her car in reverse and it went into the pond, into the pond, and she was trapped. She was trapped and she her they did test her blood alcohol level and they said that it was three times the normal amount ah uh, she had called her friend on the phone to let them know that she was trapped and she couldn't get out the car and she basically said her goodbyes in the car her tesla in the car and eventually her friends and the police did show up to the pond to try to to, to retreat to get her to save her and there was a lot of panic as you can imagine and eventually the cops they were able to bust her window open and pull her out but she didn't make it and um, she passed away as you can imagine this has affected her friends and community just so much what happened and Mitch McConnell actually said that you know when you lose a loved one and particularly uh, at a young age, there's a certain introspection that come that, you know, accompanies the grieving process. Her father, Dr. James Chow, said Angela's passing was a terrible tragedy and words can't describe the, fa the profound grief that they're feeling. Can you imagine? I mean, her husband, she was also married as well. So she leaves behind her husband. She had four sisters and of course her parents and all her friends who knew her. And um, this is a cautionary thing right here. She was drinking, but it was a simple mistake, a simple mistake. She wasn't that intoxicated where she she didn't she called her friend. So she was aware of the situation. I think I mean, this could easily happen to any of us, you know, just drinking a little bit. Maybe you know how your muscles give out a little bit and you make a small mistake and you go into a panic. I mean, your car goes into the pond. You're going to usually go into a panic. And um, this reminds me of some of the shows that I've watched where they've said in your car. Um, I've seen this before. They said, if your car goes into water, try to keep a knife or something sharp in your car because you right away, the car won't break open. You have to let it go down. And the pressure around the car and the windows will build up. Then take the knife or the sharp object and break the break the glass open. But I don't know how deep she went into the pond. You know, obviously her door was jammed or something and she couldn't get out. So I can't imagine the fear. I mean, she called her friend to say her goodbyes because she knew that she said the water just keeps rising and... They tried to save her and they weren't able to. So I'm sorry that that happened. But this also reminds us too to just be careful when drinking. You know, yes, they said, you know, her blood level, alcohol level, alcohol level, excuse me, was, was three times. But I don't think she was extremely, extremely, extremely out of it. But this reminds us that just being a little bit drunk sometimes, you know, you can make a mistake like that accidentally. Maybe your vision is messed up just a little bit or your muscles is given out and you just make one wrong move and bam, you're in the and you're in the pond drowning in the car. So 50 years old is still young. 
is still young. And um, I definitely give my condolences to her family and friends that knew her. And just be safe. I'm sharing this story because I think that it was horrible that that happened, period. Also to be safe, you know, when you're drinking, if you feel a little woozy or a little, you know, out of it or anything, just be careful. Wear your seatbelt and just wait a little bit. Drink some water or just wait a little bit or just be aware of your surroundings if you can. You know, she never thought this would happen. No one imagines that's going to happen at all. So that's not a way to, to go out. So rest in peace to Angela and just be careful out there. Also, I want to say, please, and your ladies and men, stack your car up with emergency things, okay? Have a gallon of water, have a first aid kit, have your spark plugs, have a knife, okay? Not even just in the trunk, in the glove compartment, have your knife or something sharp, have your mace, have your tape, have things just in case something happens because you never know what can happen okay and this is a great example of something like this happening I mean so that's all I have to say for this video let me know what you think in the comment section below thank you so much for joining me you all have a good day